Uh, all proceeds benefit Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. So it's ZX Daza in the strip. Uh, you know, it's family friendly, so a little different than everything else That's we good. talked about so far. That's good. If you made it this far, it's a good note <laughs> at this point. Um, so no, yeah, this is an awesome thing you guys got going on here uh, down at the strip. Um, so so what can people expect uh, uh, from this event when, when when they come in? So we have a few game tournaments. Uh, some of the tournaments will be free, and even the the charge paid tournaments are only five dollars to enter. Uh, we have some interactive panels. So uh, we have a local Matt Mangone, who's a claw machine expert. We'll be giving a panel on using the claw machine. Any of you that are familiar with the Fallout 4 panel, uh, Fallout 4 is a game. We're putting together a Gorilla Fallout 4 panel. We have some local locksmiths. We have some uh, public speaking teachers going through Charisma. And we have uh, some little hands-on stealth activities. We have someone detailing Atari, the history of, and hidden gems. You know, there's cosplay. There's a masquerade tournament for an hour. We have a maid cafe upstairs. Are any of you familiar with the maid cafe? I am not. Not familiar. Okay. So maid cafe is is something that's not uh, very commonly in Pittsburgh, but they're very common at larger anime conventions. So it's something worth checking out, but it's uh, essentially a a uh, Japanese-themed food drink uh, experience. Uh, A group of local cosplay girls are running it that also work closely with children's. So there's uh, some theme and dancing and... Uh, it's kind of its own little, very PG version of a an anime strip club, I guess. Is a good way to, oh to put it in context. Oh my, that's <laughs> so. Let's go. Let's go. You know, it's, it's a PG version, so you know okay. we don't want to go back to the beginning of the sloopy start of that. <laughs> but you know, it, it should be a ton of fun. This is the second year, so last year we had about three thousand people show up, and we expect it to be uh, pos- hopefully double. You know, we have just that that many already in pre sales. Mm-hmm. And you got something else cool going on here. Um, I, I noticed that at the bottom of the page, uh, you have this uh, Germ Squashers game happening, and that, that's on a lot of different interesting platforms. Yeah, so I own 8-Bit Evolution. So we make new games for old consoles. So a way we wanted to contribute this year and expand what we can actually give back to children's is, is with a game. So we synced up with the children's marketing team, and we created Germ Squashers. So with it's an action, static platform game. And if you beat all 10 levels, you will get a super flu shot. There's a lot of germs to destroy. You can think of it as a, an 8-bit version of Splatoon on a static screen. So we have it on iOS, Android, uh, original Nintendo, Sega Genesis. And if we could expedite the timeline, it would have also been released on the Wii U. So it won't be on the Wii U in time for the event but it will be released but a month after because we nice. are official nintendo developers nice nice so what, what does it take what does it take to get a game onto uh a sega genesis and, or, uh, or or a nintendo cartridge like what do you do you, th- can you get blank ones or how, how does that work we own a uh, reaction injection molds for brand new shelves and we made our own pcbs so the pcbs are the boards inside so most people that make games use EEPROMs, which are an antiquated IC chip. Uh, we use TSOPs. They're a little easier to access and get a higher quality of. And they play just the same, but they have higher capacity. So we can load a little bit of music on it that still works within the confines of the NES console. But it gives a little better quality of your product to collectors. And we try to give a complete box experience. So the special edition one is going to have a few extra pack-ins. We have some themed hand sanitizer and a hospital badge, and a nice you know, 12-page full-color manual. We have a small recipe book included for quick, healthy video game snacks for all ages. You know, That'll be our, our special edition. Limited edition is going to have a day of limited release, number 1 to 100 copies with the manual, and then the regular cart will be available for sale online for anybody. Nice, nice. And where can people go to check out the event and uh, check out more about the game? So the website is pittsburghretrogaming.com, and you can also look at 8bedevolution.com for more preview and video gameplay of Germ Squashers. Uh, one link to the other. So uh, if you can remember either one of them, it, the next one will be one click away. Nice, nice. Go check it out. And, and we're going to uh, we're looking to be down there uh, here this Saturday 
and uh, hopefully getting a little bit of uh, uh, footage of everything going on so people can check it out if you didn't make it down to this one. Uh, but I definitely recommend it. It sounds like it's going to be a fun, fun event. And, and I'm loving, I'm loving that these uh, these retro game things have been uh, have been popping up. I, I mean, there's a few groups uh, apparently around. Um, like I think wasn't there like a replay FX last summer? So at some point, mm-hmm. um, and I, and I understand that was a pretty cool thing up at uh, David Lawrence uh, Convention Center. Um, is yeah, is it- re- replay is great, and uh, Mark from Replay will be there at a booth. Awesome. So if you have, have any questions about that event, yeah, you'll be able to connect with them directly. Check out the T-shirts. Uh, look at some of the previews they have. Uh, if I'm understanding it correctly, you know Mark expects to grow the event about thirty percent this year. Wow, which is pretty big considering how large it was last year. Oh my. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. I, I'm loving this retro throwback stuff. It, it, it's oh, good too. stuff. Between that and Looking for Group coming up, we just had our uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show 10-year party over at Looking for Group last Thursday. And I love that just video gaming is, is just feels so alive. Between that and we got Shell Games doing a bunch of fun stuff down in Southside. Uh, uh, it, 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 it seems like, like this is becoming kind of a gaming town a little bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's really cool to see. And, and, and then plus yeah, all the, you know, uh, Looking for group and show will actually both be at the convention. So nice. if anyone's listening and hasn't heard of any of them, they'll all be there to meet. Yeah, go check them out. Thanks a lot. Uh, and check it out at uh, Pittsburgh, um, Pittsburgh uh, uh, RetroGaming.com. I want to go for the Claw Seminar. The Claw? I, I know. Right, the Claw. I know. I wonder if the Claw... Are they teaching you the tricks? They're gonna. Te- it sounds like he's teaching you the inside tricks. Mm-hmm. And I or wonder if the like, Claw Machine... Claw business. companies hate him. See right. why now. Yeah. Will I he bet. be shut down? <laughs> ground rounds oh, everywhere no. suffering and, and i'm bringing chachi and chachi's already a claw machine addict addict so, yeah is yeah. he good at it uh, uh he's persistent we there, can say well there's some there's some really great prizes in some of those i'm not talking yeah. about the kmart you know where you but pick up an egg and you denny's get like, has a nice collection in there Denny's say. has a night, but if you go to some of the ones at Dave and Buster's, there's like DVDs, they have CDs, they have yeah. all kinds of stuff that I can never pick up. Yeah. The yeah. harder things. Yeah, it slides right off. Yeah. So, hey, well, it also depends on the claw and how they're adjusted. It does, they're mm-hmm. calibrated differently. Well, he's going to tell us all about it. Oh, we'll learn. <laughs> I'm taking notes. <laughs> I, I want to learn.